Thank you Microsoft for providing me with free access to the Dungeons & Dragons DLC for review. Leave a like and subscribe if you find this review helpful. Now in this review, I'm covering the co-op experience of the Dungeons & Dragons DLC for Minecraft Bedrock on my Xbox Series X. This review will be broken up into gameplay explained, co-op explained, then my thoughts slash important information, so feel free to skip around to get the information you need. When playing the Dungeons & Dragons DLC, you will only have one core experience, and that is the story mode. Within this story, you take control of any of the four classes, Barbarian, Paladin, Rogue, or Wizard, each coming with their own stats and abilities. Your goal in this story is to defeat an evil unknown group who destroyed your home village and to save the dragon that was merged into your soul. During this adventure, you will have your standard Minecraft controls with the addition of some D&D mechanics such as skill points, abilities, and skill checks. You will use a compass that will direct you where to go. During your travels, you will encounter several creatures from the D&D lore. You can freely explore every area you go to, but NPC interaction will be limited to just necessary story NPCs. All characters are fully voiced. The story takes about an hour to get into the more exciting content, so keep that in mind when starting this. When it comes to co-op, up to 8 players can play together online, or up to 10 can play together in a realm. Keep in mind, if playing online, all players will need to have purchased the DLC. Local co-op with up to 4 players is available, but it does not seem like this DLC was made with split screen in mind. Menus go off screen, and if a split screen player joins, when you've already progressed into the story, you will be sent back to the starting area and become stuck. This DLC can be played from start to finish in co-op. Players will play as any of the four classes available, with the option of playing as the same class as another player. These classes are structured to work together, so keep that in mind when picking a class. While out exploring, players can interact with any NPC and will gather their own loot. And that's all that this DLC has to offer. Now for my experience, I'd have to say the co-op experience was decent. The classes provided all were structured to encourage cooperation. Having full freedom to do as you please during the adventure makes all players feel included. Having your own loot encourages cooperation between teammates. I did experience a few bugs during cutscenes and I find it very disappointing how broken local co-op is. So with all that being said, I'd have to give the co-op experience 7 pepperonis out of 10. Minecraft Dungeons & Dragons DLC offers a decent co-op experience that is definitely worth checking out. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to help.